This is a perfect recipe for today. It's going to be warm, it's going to fill you up, but it's not going to affect your waistline because all of us have, you know, tried to start the new year out healthier. Um, Patty and Ken Hendrickson are here from Mustard Seed uh, Cafe in Bellevue with a great recipe. What are you making for us today, uh, Chef Ken? Tuscan, Tuscan vegetable soup. And uh, we serve this a lot at the cafe, and this actually is kind of a healthier version of soup. So uh, what I got going here is I got some celery, carrots, and onions, and vegetables. I'm okay. sweat, sweating out your aromatics, you know, trying to uh, build some flavor well, there. Well, it's very uh, aromatic. aromatic right. Yes, very so, much. So uh, we're going to just add a little chopped garlic to this. Now, you know, okay. everybody's going, well, what makes it Tuscan? Well, it's just Tuscan. Just trust me. So um, we're going to add a little garlic to that. Wait, say that then, again. We just have to trust you? Yeah, trust this me. This is yeah. Tuscan. Yeah, it's a Tuscan style soup because we put the beans and stuff in there. Okay. Now, and hearty and vegetables. And hearty and, and yeah. vegetables. Okay. And, and this winter's out and everybody likes soup during the winter. So we're going to add a little zucchini to that. Okay. Now Patty is here because she's going to tell us in a minute about the farmer's market that's happening this weekend that you're part of, right? Right. Okay. And uh, we're going to add our chicken stock. Now, this can be a veg uh, vegetable stock. Can I stir that for you? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. A uh, little vegetable stock or, uh, and if you want to add chicken to this, go right ahead. But right okay. now this is going to be... Uh, there's chicken broth in there, so it's not totally vegetarian, but it could be a vegetarian you could, dish. Or, and then you could add chicken meat to right, it if you wanted so, to. Okay. Yeah, and then we're going to add some of our, our tomatoes. Now, these are canned tomatoes. You can also use fresh tomatoes, you know. Um, I love the color in there. Oh, yeah. It's gonna, yeah. So now, what we're trying to do right now is we're trying to build some flavor. Okay. And uh, so we will let this simmer for a while, maybe 20 minutes or so. Then we got some potatoes here. We're going to just add those. Now you had water in there with them, is yeah, that right? Well, that's to keep the potatoes from oxidizing. And turning, so, yeah. Just, okay, so it's just, turning yeah. brown. Okay, right. great. And then, um, um, I trust you. You trust told me. me. I yeah, trust, trust you. Me. So beans? These are cannellini beans. Now you can add any kind of bean you want. I like cannellinis, a uh, white kidney bean. You're making this look really easy and yeah. really delicious. Yeah. Okay. And Do you then, serve this at the restaurant? Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay. In fact, we're we'll probably be serving it today. Okay. So come on down and this have a hot This pot right here that I'm helping with. Well. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> he doesn't trust me. Yeah. So and what is this? This is spinach. Now you can use also use kale, kale, or I, I, a lot of that baby kale's not really in, so it's okay. Uh, yeah, can, kale is yeah, the new yeah, spinach, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. So, but this is okay. spinach. We're gonna put a little bit. Uh, How long would you need that? To, would you want to put that in at the last minute, or does it not matter? Absolutely. That's gonna be like that's only gonna take about a minute to cook. So okay. you know, you really just want to wilt that in there, and you're end. right. That should be added right at the very end. Okay. So you know, uh, we're gonna add some uh, herbs here. This is just some oregano and uh, basil and thyme that I have. Okay. You can use fresh herbs. Now this is a great summer soup too. So okay. you know, uh, you know, if you got some stuff in the garden you want to use. Uh, um, yeah, you know, it just you want to just uh, make sure it's a hearty kind of vegetable. And you want to put beans in it, you know. And I, uh, I love it. I can't wait to try it. Um, I've got some here to try. This is what it looks like at the end when it's finished. And Chef Ken has shared his recipe. We'll put it online. But Patty, tell us what's happening this weekend that you're a part of. Okay. This uh, weekend at the Winter's Market down at the KI Center. The, we've been a part of that since it started. There are 80 different vendors that come down, and there is such an array of things to do there. You walk in, you get a cup of coffee or tea. Mm -hmm. They have all different kinds of vegetables. You could actually take this recipe, walk around to the vendors, and pick up, I'd Some say... Some of the vegetables that yep, are going to go in your soup. Absolutely. And absolutely. you'll be there. You yep. have your zucchini bread that you're going to yes. show us next hour. So Ken and Patty are going to stick around. This soup is delicious. Thank you so much. Thank you. Well, visit them at Mustard Seed Cafe. We put their address, their, their website, so that you can find them online. Fox11online.com.